My name is Daisy, and I am the animation ambassador for Shape What's To Come. Three years ago, I moved from Brisbane, Australia to New York City. Recently, I was lucky enough to escape the cold of New York when Shape What's To Come sponsored female mural artists to participate in Primary Flight's installation at Art Basel. I got the opportunity to get out of my studio and go to Miami to film and hang out with some awesome and talented ladies. I don't have a lot of guy friends who take me painting, so I painted myself in LA. So I just started going to different people that had a lot of graffiti, like trucks, walls. Everything was embarrassing, because I would be like, hi, I paint. <laughs> and I didn't have any pictures, and I didn't have anything concrete, I didn't paint anything really, but I wanted to paint. My painting career is kind of started after I moved to New York in the mid 90s. And I was graduating school in Tokyo and I moved to New York. And I kind of jumped into this whole graffiti and street art world since like late 90s. That was the beginning of this whole craziness, actually. I have always been intrigued by street art but I've never thought about what it would be like to be a street artist. My adventure to Miami gave me a crash course in what it was like to be a girl who painted on walls. It's inevitable, people get jealous or, you know, there's conflicts or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I like to kind of not take notice of those kind of things. It, it's, it's kind of negative. And... I come from graffiti and uh, in France it's much easier to paint than in America. You have a lot, it's a, much less regulations in terms of abandoned buildings. For me it was very hard, I had to really look for walls. And you know, kind of just yeah. go by instinct and just be open to spontaneity and it might change. But to me, like where the spot is, I respond to that and like what I'm next to too, you know? I wanted to So you, I'm you next to these ladies. You're inspired so. organically throughout the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cool factor of street art didn't get lost on me. All around Miami, I saw and experienced people interacting with the artists, getting excited. In animation, the general public doesn't get to interact with the work until it's finished and out there, on the internet or in theatres. Both the audience and myself have to wait for that interaction. In Miami, the thrill of talking to people walking by was fun and new to me. I was excited to be outside, around people, art and music. Oh, I was filmed yesterday. Some dude came up and was like pseudo interviewing me. Yeah. With a little flip camera. I went to college and I studied graphic design. It took that me getting a job in an ad agency, realizing I wasn't happy, to um, just paint full time. After the excitement of watching these ladies paint, I went and explored more of Art Basel. My favorite was probably the Sanrio Hello Kitty exhibition. I tried to get a tattoo, but was too late. Aside from tattoos and cool art, I was inspired. These ladies are proving that you can do whatever you want to do. You just actually have to do it. We're strong females, you know, we go out there, we go on the street, we do our thing, we pursue our, our dreams, and that's what we're doing as a world here today, because we like to do something. And we go out there and do it. <laughs>